Hot 97 was, that was hip hop's radio station. I don't care if you Correct. lived in Oregon, mm -hmm. you know, you know Hot 97. It's a new station in town. Power 105. And DJ Envy decides to jump ship. Sinking ship. <laughs> Envy, that's not an easy decision. It couldn't have been at that time. It was. Was it? Yeah. How'd that, how'd that deal come to, into play? I'll tell you exactly what it was. So it was the newer two. Mm -hmm. And um, at the time, it was uh, Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg in the morning. Mm -hmm. Big Dennis in middays. Shout out to Big Dennis. Uh, afternoons was, uh, who was doing afternoons at the time? I don't remember who was doing afternoons at the time. Maybe Sonny? Yep, no, Sonny. Angie Martinez came back. It was Angie Martinez. And then after Angie Martinez, it was Flex. So my contract was about to be up. And yeah, this is going to sound crazy, but I wanted middays, right? No, this is shout to Big Dennis. I love Big Dennis. But I felt like at that time, I was on fire. And I wanted that. And I told him, I said, yo, the stations across the street is offering me all this money. They want to give me this slot in middays, but I'm riding with the team. And it was like, we're not going to give it to you. We're not going to pay you more money. So I was like, all right, I'm going to leave. I'm thinking if I say I'm going to leave, they're going to be like, no, Envy, don't leave. We want you. So they was like, ah, well, there's nothing I can do. I was like, all right. So I packed all my stuff, and I'm like, I'm leaving. I'm out. Then when I got downstairs, I seen the phone ring. I was like, all right, hey. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, Ebro? He was like, yo, you really out? And I'm like, yeah. He was like, no, you really, really out? I'm like, yeah, I'm going. He was like, damn, he was like, I can't do nothing. We don't have a budget, this, that, the other. I was like, all right. I hung up the phone. I walked over to Power 105 one, and I'm like, I was like, I called my wife. I'm like, babe, I don't know what's going to happen. I said, but, you know, we gonna, I'm going to go over there and ball out. Like, I, I'm a, I said, I'm going to try to fucking kick the stations back and do what I got to do. They offered me afternoons. I went in the afternoons, and I started balling. I was like, I'm, I'm just going at everybody. And I started just picking up the morale in the company. You know, Self was there, Pro Style came, and Pro Style was doing middays, Clue was doing nights. Um, at the time, Ed Lover and Dre was doing, Ed Lover was doing mornings. And I was like, yo, let's just run. Like, we the hottest in the streets. Let's push it. Let's, let's play. And we just started playing. And one day they came up to me and was like, yo, you know, we love what you're doing. You've got the station running. Everybody's excited. You guys are running as a team. That's what they didn't have. They didn't have camaraderie. They, nobody was running with each other. Mm -hmm. Everybody did their own things. And it got to the point, I'm like, nah, we all fuck with each other. This is the station. Clue do a party, we all do a party. Self do a party, we all do a party. And we started doing that. And it was bigger because now we all running together. And they called me and it was like, you know, we need a morning show. And I was like, I ain't doing mornings no more, bro. I was like, I'm not waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning. This, that, and the other. They was like, well, what about if we double your salary? I'm like, bro, I'm not doing mornings. They was like, what about if we triple your salary? I'm like, when do we start? <laughs> and I was like, well, who, who we working with? They was like, Charlemagne. I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'm like, nah. They was like, why not? I'm like, he got five four times, bro. I'm like, I got, at the time I had two kids. I'm like, I got two kids. I'm like, I'm not fucking with him. They was like, nah, I talk to him, speak to him. So, you know, I spoke to Charlemagne. He was like, nah, let's go. I'm ready. He's standing up. I'm like, all right, I bet. I'm like, who else? They're like, Angela Yee. I'm like, nah. They're like, why not? I'm like, she does serious satellite radio. She curses like a sailor. One curse word, it's over. No. They was like, nah, she good. So it's like, all right. So they, they kind of put us all in the room. And what made that show work, The Breakfast Club work, was we were all, I always say we were all side pieces. I was Miss Jones' side piece. Mm -hmm. Charlemagne was Wendy Williams' side piece. Angela Yee was Cypher Sound's side piece. So we all never chased the stardom. We all never say, oh, this is my shit, my shit. It was never like that. We all knew how to share because we all worked with main people. So that's what made the show great. So when we first started the show, I was the, the, the marquee because I was the biggest person at the time. But for myself, it didn't really matter. I figured we'd all have a time when we would shine. I shined at first, then ye shine, now Charlemagne shining. Like we all take our chance with shining. And it's just a matter of not letting it get to our heads. Because it's like, I tell everybody it's like this. It's like I'm the point guard and I want to win the game. Right? I'm going to give it to the, to, to the dude that's going to help us win. If it's Charlemagne, I'll you. If it's ye, 
throw it to the three-point line because at the end of the day, we want to win. doesn't matter who's the biggest. doesn't matter who's getting the virals. And say, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's winning. And, you know, I think that we've been the, the biggest morning show ever in urban, which I didn't even, wasn't anything that was ever planned. We just took it one day at a time. But the fact that it's happening, that we've evolved to so many different things, is just, that's how it came about. It, it was no, like, we, didn't, we couldn't even think of a name. It was like, first we had a big three, <laughs> then we was Illuminati in the morning. Like, we came up with all these stupid names. Where did the Breakfast come, co- Club come from? Somebody just suggested it and was like, yo, that's dope because we can invite people in to our club. Like, it's, it's not one of those things, it's like, this is our show, this is kind of like everybody's show, mm-hmm. where everybody can call in and say what they want to say, and that's how the show came together. Wow, you, you touched on something that I think is so important, and, and it's really checking your ego, because at the time that The Breakfast Club started, DJ Envy is the biggest name on the marquee. Correct. By far. People knew Charlemagne, mm-hmm. people knew ye, but they weren't household names right. at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, for you, was it that simple? Yeah. For you to just say, you know what, I'm trying to win yeah. by any means necessary? It was, it was two things that, that was that simple. One, I, wa- I wanted to win. Mm-hmm. And two, I always thought if it didn't work, it never really effed up my name. If it was DJ Envy, Envy's morning show and it, and it was bricked out, I couldn't go back to, to middays. I couldn't go back to nights because my, my name would be shit. Mm-hmm. But now if it's all of us, I could be like, damn, that shit <laughs> sucked. Let me go back here and go do this. So that's how I kind of looked at it too. But I just knew with all our work ethic and what we were capable of doing, we couldn't be stopped. I mean, you had three people at the time that, like we ran ball. Like we were out every night at the club. We were doing everything where we could touch the people and we were all there all the time together. We couldn't be stopped. And I, I, and I knew what it was. I knew there was no team around that could do what we could do. And we all had something to prove. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.